In this brief video, we take a look at some of the new changes and features found in iOS 12.1 Beta 1. One of the big new features for iPhone XS and XS Max users is the depth control in portrait mode in the stock camera app. So depth control basically allows you to control the depth of field for photos taken with portrait mode. So what you would do is you would take that photo, you would open it up, you would tap edit, and then you could use depth control in post. So you can use this little slider here at the bottom of the interface to control the depth from f1.4 all the way to f16. The closer to f1.4, the more blurry and milky the background is, and the closer to f16, the less blurry and milky the background is. Now that's great and all, but the problem is, is that you could only do this when editing a photo taken with portrait mode in post in iOS 12 that came with the iPhone XS and XS Max. But with iOS 12.1 Beta 1, you can now preview that depth control setting right there in the viewfinder, which is better for composition. So you see this button in the upper right hand corner, you just tap that, and now that reveals the depth control interface and you can preview in real time. So you can go all the way to F16, not as shallow, and then scroll all the way over to F1.4. And obviously that background is a lot more separated from the foreground and you get that nice blur effect. Now, one thing I did notice is that the blur is a little more pronounced in the preview than it actually turns out to be on the photo that is saved to your camera roll. So just keep that in mind. This is beta, by the way. So anything can change between now and when this feature goes live. Uh, but the nice thing is you could still go in in post and edit the depth just like you could before. So what do you guys think? Do you like that feature? Let me know by leaving a thumbs up and also commenting down below with your thoughts on the new ability to preview depth control right there in the viewfinder. But that's not the only new feature found in iOS 12.1 Beta 1. No, group FaceTime makes a triumphant return in the iOS Beta. And that means that hopefully this feature will be launching sometime before the end of the year possibly with iOS 12.1. Group FaceTime will allow up to 32 video participants simultaneously, which is kind of crazy. And the final feature we'll discuss here is a new watch face that appears in the watch app on your iPhone. So this new watch face is called Color, and there are three different styles of this watch face. So first of all, let's talk about the amount of colors you get. You get 51 different colors to choose from, and they basically span the rainbow so you can just scroll here and see all the different colors from red to blue to green to yellow yeah there's a lot of colors there to choose from now keep in mind this is an analog watch face and there are three different styles to choose from you get ticks which looks like that you get circular look which looks like that and those two styles support complications but if you choose the full screen style which is exclusively available for the Apple Watch Series 4, there are no complications to choose from. You see all the complications are grayed out. You can add a monogram, but that's about it. So again, the full screen color watch face is for Series 4 Apple Watch owners only. The other two can be used on older devices as well. So ladies and gentlemen, that is a brief roundup of what's new in iOS 12.1 Beta 1. What's your favorite new feature? Let me know down below in the comments. This is Jeff with the 9 to 5 Mac.